Baseball is America's pastime, but not all baseball gear is made in the USA. So in today's video, I'm covering some great made in the USA companies for bats, gloves, and other gear. And I'm also uncovering where some really popular American baseball brands are actually made at different parts throughout this video. So make sure to stick around for that. Links to all of our written research in the description below. Let's get started. There's obviously a lot of different gear and equipment for baseball and the availability of American manufacturers really varies depending on the product that you're looking at. So I'm going to go through each different equipment category to give you all some great made in the USA recommendations, starting with baseball bats. First up in baseball bats is Three Brothers Bats. These guys are based out of West Salem, Wisconsin and are a super cool small baseball bat manufacturer. They hand make everything and actually have one of their bats right here. This is their custom Pro Series model. They come in ash, birch or maple and everything is super high quality. Three Brothers has a few notable guys that are hitting their bats. We also have an exclusive interview with these guys on allamerican.org so I will link that interview in the description below. But definitely check these guys out if you're looking for a really high quality handmade bat. Moving on to a bunch of other American made baseball bat manufacturers, the two most popular bats in Major League Baseball are Marucci and Victus bats, both of which are made in the USA. Chandler bats is another good option out of Port St. Lucie, Florida. They make really high quality wood bats and everything matches the MLB testing standards. Next up is Dirty South bats out of Winder, Georgia. These guys make metal bats that are super popular with a lot of youth leagues across the country. They're made with a continuous compression barrel, which basically means that the entire bat feels like a sweet spot. So definitely check out them if you're looking for metal bats. And then if you're looking for wood composite bats, Baum bats is a really good option. They're based out of Phoenix, Arizona and are approved for a bunch of USA baseball leagues, the NCAA and a lot of other organizations. If you're looking for an on deck warm up or training bat, check out Brat Bat. These guys are based out of Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts and are really going to help you build a lot more speed and power in your swing. This bat has a lot of added weight throughout the entire bat. It's really balanced and so it's going to give you a nice good feel when you're training. All right, a few more rapid fire ones to call out here in terms of baseball bats, Louisville Slugger. Can't film a video on baseball bats made in America without mentioning these guys. They are the number three bat in the MLB right now. And then a few other good options are Dovetail, Tucci Lumber Bats, and Old Hickory Bat Company. And then in terms of baseball bats that aren't made in the US, there's really not a ton of popular options to call out, which is a really good thing. B45 is maybe one to mention. They're based in Quebec City, Canada. They're a semi-popular bat in a lot of different leagues. But other than them, there was really a ton of awesome American made options. All right, let's move on to baseball gloves. And in contrast to baseball bats, there's really not a ton of good options when it comes to gloves, but one of the most notable is Nakona. These guys are based in Nakona, Texas, and have been making leather baseball gloves since 1932. They have gloves for pretty much every position, so you should find something that you need from Nakona. They also have a really cool production facility, which you can go and tour if you ever find yourself in Texas, as well as a museum that goes through their history, which again is really neat. A couple other options for American made baseball gloves to call out. First is Roy Hobbs. They're based in Fort Myers, Florida. They make gloves from 100% American made materials and they are really high quality. You're certainly going to pay for it when it comes to the price tag, but they know what they're doing and you're really going to get a glove that's going to last you for years to come. And the last brand to call out is Glovesmith. They're based in Imperial, Missouri and make custom baseball gloves. So if you need some specific specifications for your glove, definitely check out Glovesmith. And then in terms of gloves that are not made in the US, the first brand to call out is Rawlings. Now they have some models that are made at their production facility in Missouri. Most notably their custom and their pro series models, but pretty much everything else is not made here. Rawlings is the number one glove in Major League Baseball and Wilson is the number two glove in Major League Baseball and none of their stuff is made here. And lastly is Mizuno. They're obviously a Japanese company and they don't have any production in the US. 
All right, let's move on to baseballs. And you might be surprised to find out that there's pretty much zero baseballs that are made in the USA anymore, which is really sad. There's a few vintage companies like Huntington Baseball Company that makes very old school style baseballs, but they cost $50 a pop and probably aren't going to be the baseballs that are gonna hit around the backyard. Rawlings is the official baseball of Major League Baseball and none of their baseballs are made in the USA anymore. They're all made in Costa Rica and have been since the 80s. They also produce all of the baseballs for minor league baseball, which are actually mostly made in China, which is the country of origin for pretty much over 80% of all baseballs that are produced and sold in the US according to our research. And then the other major brand to mention in terms of baseball's production is Wilson. And similar to gloves, none of their baseballs are made in the U.S. anymore. All right, moving on into some other gear, heading into batting gloves. And unfortunately, I couldn't find any batting gloves that are made in the U.S.A. anymore. If you know of any, drop a comment in this video, please. It would be super helpful for our entire audience. But in terms of some brands that are not made here for batting gloves, that's going to be folks like Rawlings and Wilson, which I've mentioned, uh, Bruce Bolt, which is another really popular brand of batting gloves that is not made here. And then Marucci, none of their stuff is made here either. And then of course, really popular sporting goods brands like Nike and Under Armour are obviously not making any of their batting gloves here either. For helmets and protective gear, just like bases, check out Shut Sports. They have some helmets, catcher pads, and other gear that are made in the USA. Not all of it's made here though. Just make sure to check that label when you're shopping and that country of origin should be clearly on each product. All right, and then rounding us out with hats here, lots of good options for custom baseball caps that are made in the USA. A few companies to call out. First is AmeriCap Baseball Caps, which is based in Enfield, North Carolina. They can make custom caps for pretty much any design. So if you need something for your little league team or adult league, definitely check out AmeriCap. Unionware is another good option. They have a huge customization selection. Much like the name suggests, they are union made and they employ 175 people at their 70,000 square foot facility out of Newark, New Jersey. And then Classic Caps out of Garland, Texas is another good option here. They've been around since 1928. They have a lot of stock hats that you can buy right off the shelf or you can place a custom order with them. And then the big brand in terms of hats is New Era. A lot of their stuff is not made in the USA. They have a small select line from our research of stuff that is made domestically, but pretty much most of their stuff is not made in the US. All right, y'all, that's it for this one. Drop a comment if you have any questions. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all next time.